On Thursday, the mighty Ohio continued to rise, surrounding the Ali Center and swallowing up the riverfront. And on River Road, things weren't much better. Most had already packed up their belongings and headed to drier ground. At this gas station at the corner of River Road and Zorn, workers spent the afternoon emptying off shelves, scrambling to save what they could. Groceries, candies, drinks, water, whatever we can, beer. So we're trying to take, you know, pretty much everything. Brian Goodnight was doing the same. A moving company took the big things while he and his brother moved everything else. Not out, but up. A lot of the stuff we put into upper cabinets because we didn't have, it's not going to get that high, I hope. Goodnight had been watching the forecast for days, but not everyone has. It's why Kristen Heron and other advocates for the homeless have been out alerting the city's most vulnerable to the impending waters. It's tiny, I'm just checking on you. Are you in there? Some have already moved to higher ground, but not all. The decision not to move cost a homeless vet his life several years ago. And that's why this is so important, that we are coming out here every day warning the folks, because it's life and death. It's why so many, including Brian Goodnight, are hoping the waters recede instead of rise. Hopefully it uh, doesn't get in. I, I think it will, but I, I'm just praying that it doesn't. Back here live tonight, already this afternoon, the waters of the Ohio were getting dangerously close to dozens of homes right here on River Road. One homeowner you just heard from, Brian Goodnight, says the difference between his home being safe and flooded was just four feet. Unfortunately, tonight, that number now stands at three feet. Reporting live near River Road, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.